here at IBC, I'm talking to Clark Stevens, who is the Technical Committee Chair of UPMP. Clark, you've got a, a very interesting demonstration here, or more than a demonstration, on IoT. Tell us about this initiative. Well, um, UPMP has been working on IoT for 15 years before it was called IoT. Uh, more recently, however, we've added some things to make it really scalable for the Internet and to address a couple of the major problems with uh, the Internet of Things, and that is interoperability. So you've got several companies and organizations that are supporting different standards, but these are not always compatible. And to me, the Internet of Things really blossoms when it has all the things. So we're doing a couple of things to help that uh, move along. One is we're providing physical interoperability between devices. So through uh, bridging with UPnP, we can connect other ecosystems such as Bluetooth or Zigbee or Z-Wave, and that allows the physical connectivity between devices. In addition to that, you have to have logical connectivity. So one organization may define a light that can dim and use that dimming value between zero and 100%. Another organization might take that same type of light bulb, but instead of between zero and 100 percent, they define the dimming to be between zero and 32,000 for some reason. And so what UPMP does is normalize those definitions into a single data definition and allows those devices then to interoperate on a logical level. So a light from one manufacturer to UPMP looks exactly like a light from another manufacturer and you can control them from the same device at the same time. And this is what you're showing with this data model tool? Yeah, the data model tool is what we use to define that in a common way and to share that with other organizations so that it doesn't have to be reinvented again and again. And I think you're doing a little bit of that by you're sharing this booth with two other very large membership organizations. Right, right. Uh, we're uh, working in conjunction with OIC and with DLNA. Uh, we're also working uh, with other organizations through liaison agreements. UPMP doesn't make anything, so we don't have a big uh, dog in the fight. We like to get things to work across these multiple ecosystems, and that's, that's one of the things we're working towards. But obviously this is very important to making IoT a reality. Um, a lot of yeah. people may not understand about UPMP. You've been around many years. You've played a significant role in, in developments in technology. Tell us a little bit of, give us a snapshot of the history of UPMP. Yeah, as, as I said before, UPMP has been around for 15 years. Uh, we were doing the Internet of Things long before it was called the Internet of Things. Uh, we have uh, long-standing protocols that tell us how to do uh, home air conditioning and heating, uh, control blinds, uh, we're the technology that is included in all DLNA devices for uh, audio and video stuff. Uh, we, we control all sorts of things and traditionally we've been doing that through uh, defining specifications but now with this new data tool we're able to do that in a matter of minutes as opposed to a matter of months. Fantastic. Well, you've been very busy here at uh, IBC. I know you're presenting in the conference as well. But in the meantime, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.